Hi everybody, it's been quite a while since I've made a video for this channel. I haven't really done anything that would be interesting that I haven't done before, but somebody asked about the start-stop assembly, so I thought I would have a look at ones that I've got and see if we can find anything that, that can be fixed. The basic assembly, we have the start-stop, on-off, 33 and 45. Underneath there is the on off which is rotating and there will be a micro switch that goes in there which is activated with a lever then we have the start stop which is on a spring and then there's the circuit board for the 3345 and the LEDs it's just the one screw that holds that board in place And then that comes out. You can see on the PCB there are the two switches and then the micro switch for the start and stop. So in the inside there's the two buttons for the 33 and 45 and I found that there's two different versions of this. One of them like this one where the actual button is on a latch and you have to put that latch over to one side and push it down. Then there is this version where there is no latch and there's like this little clip which stops the switch from coming out. This one's a lot easier to work on. This one if you're not careful when you bend that back to get it out it will actually break. I don't particularly like working on those. Anyway let's get back. So for the start and stop there is a circlip and we just, I'm just using a flat bladed screwdriver to point that off. Very careful with those because they fly off. So now the start stop will just come out and then underneath there is a spring. So we want to give that a good clean, we want to put some lubrication on the shaft and the spring clean all around on the inside. So I'm just going to use some IPA and cotton swab. And I'm going to put some white lithium on on the shaft. So clip back on. So that should be okay. And then obviously we've got the actual micro switch. So it could be that this micro switch is also damaged. We can use the pads underneath to buzz that out. So let's try. This one is uh, this one is damaged anyway. Look, this is snapped just here, so I'm not too worried about damaging this. So we can we can see how hard this is to get these out, and it's like a little lip that we need to push that over.
and you can see the little lip just there and then it's just the same thing cleaning that inside there And again, a little bit of white lithium. I might just spray some on to here. And then just lubricate that shaft. So that now will just go back in. Pop down. So that one wasn't too bad. We've managed to do that without breaking that clip. So be very careful on, on that. Check that the switches are okay. And you can see that the switches have like um, a sticky pad on the top to raise the height up. And some of them have that and some of them don't. Make sure that when you put this together that the, the wires don't get trapped under the switch. And then just screw that back down. Nice clean action on there. And we can feel a click on the 33. The 45 doesn't feel very nice on that one. So we will just do the same on, on the 33 and the 45. Let's quickly look at this one, which is the different type. I use my needle nose pliers. It has like a split ring. So we just peel it off. Do not lose that. And now the switch will just fall out. Because it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that lip on the side. So the same thing again, we'll just clean inside there. Clean up the switch. Pop it back in. And then what I found the best way to put this ring back on is just to put it on your fingertip. And just push down. And you see there that that's, that's back on. So now that switch will not come out. So that's cleaning the start stop, the 33 and the 45. There's the strobe inside there. If that's dim, it could be that the LEDs need replacing or it could be the transistor on the board. I don't have, uh, there's two different types of these. There's one where the top, like this one where the top pops off and there's a clip on the inside. So that shaft will not come out. But there's another one where if you take the top off, the shaft will fall straight through. Another common problem is that the, uh, the key inside there breaks. So that just turns round and round and round. And like I say, there's the switch on the bottom. Um, those posts can break, so that can mean that it doesn't turn properly. So they're the, they're the common issues with this mechanism. That's, that's it really, that's if, if those buttons are sticking or if that's not working, that's a bit sticky. It's just a matter of just taking them off, cleaning those up really, and if that spins round, 
doesn't spin round if it's stiff or if it doesn't come off. So I hope that that was helpful to somebody. Uh, just a quick way to clean up and uh, lubricate these buttons. Hopefully it won't be too long before I do another video. It just depends if I've got something that I can show you that I haven't showed you before.